Hey, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Back to the Future, the game. Ah, it's a... <laughs> Look! <laughs> Mary Pickford. What do you see? This vehicle has sustained some serious damage. Way to stay focused, Doc. Look! <laughs> Look! <laughs> what do I do? Hint. Liz. Well, clearly it's Edna. Step away from the cabin! <gasps> Pardon us for intruding, madam. We were wondering if you could tell us... I don't talk to hooligans! Not a very friendly sort. Doc, that was Edna. Edna Strickland? Impossible. This is how she was when I first met her. I had to... Listen, just leave it to me. Okay, you think you know how to handle her. Just remember, we need to know what happened to Hill Valley, and just as importantly, the precise time when it happened. An old saloon sign. Cool. Too bad it's all burnt. Edna's grandfather, Marshall Strickland. That's the same picture I saw in Edna's apartment, way back, in the future. Please, you know. Mr. Who are you? Sonny Crockett. That's a foolish name. And I make it a rule not to talk to strangers with foolish names. But we're not strangers. How do I know you? You interviewed me once. Back when you were young. Listen, Sonny, I'm an easygoing woman, but I got a few rules I live by. And rule number one is, I never, ever talk about the past! Or the future, neither. I don't talk about any day but today. I guess that didn't go so well. Of course she doesn't talk about the past, because there's something in her past she's trying to forget. But we're gonna pry it out of her. Go ahead, knock on the door again. That's a thing and really annoying thing to start a conversation. What? It's me again, your old friend. How do I know you? We spent the day together. We did? Where? At the expo. That's crazy. I've been here all... What day is it? Tuesday, October 13th, 1931. October 13th, 1931. October 13th. Something funny about that date. Well, what are you here for? Listen, lady, you've got to tell us where Hill Valley went. Hill Valley? You're standing in Hill Valley. Population one.
You know there's supposed to be a town here today, right? Might be there was a town once long ago, or might be it was in the future. How many times I gotta tell ya, I don't talk about any time but today! Come on, Miss Strickland. Miss who? Strickland. You're Edna Strickland. Take a look at the mailbox, Sonny. Name's Pickford. Mary Pickford. And it has been for as long as I care to remember. And like I told you, I don't care to remember! You see that car over there? You stole that from, from Carl Sagan. And you, you time jumped into the past. Me? Steal a car? You got a lot of nerve, Sonny. Everyone in town knows that Mary Pickford's the most law-abiding citizen that Hill Valley's ever had. Then I don't give a fig about the past. I brought something for you. What is it? Let me see. Wait, no. Ah, oh, crap. Might, might be these, I don't know. I brought you these tickets to the expo. What expo? The expo you left when you swiped the DeLorean and jumped back in time. Stop messing with my brain. I don't know nothing about time travel and I never did. And what's more, I never talk about the past! Oh, come on. Oh. I brought you... him! Him? Who oh, him? Him who? Look hard! Don't tell me you don't recognize your own boyfriend! My boyfriend? Yeah, he's, um, he's all grown up. Come closer, fella. Marty, what am I supposed to do? Trust me, Doc. Just go with it. It can't be! Emmett! Yes, Edna. It's me. It is! It's October 13th! Once the mental dam is broken, the subject is immediately plunged into the midst of the very scenes she's trying to forget. Darling, you've come back. Of course I knew you would. An intelligent boy like you wouldn't be one to throw away true love all because of a silly quarrel. I've already forgotten about last night's little tiff. I trust you've done the same? Of course I have. Of course I have. What? Uh, 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 uh. Schnuckums. <laughs> you're sweet. But you're still keeping company with this Smirnoff character. I insist you drop him. He's a bad influence. And you've got to stop working on that dangerous electrokinetic... What's this? Um... Okay. I suppose now you're miffed with me for forcing Detective Parker to close your booth down. Bitter medicine for you, I know, but I had to do it. And Parker had no choice but to obey my orders. He knows that my opinion carries a lot of weight in Hill Valley, and he'd never... Parker would never... Oh! What is it? I don't know. Something about Detective Parker. Something that happened to me on October 13th. 
What could it be? Can you jog her memory? If we can keep her mind in the past, we may get the full story of Hill Valley's premature destruction. Help. I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. No! Turn it off, you imbecile! If Parker hears that, he'll... Officer, I can explain. It was a trick. I was framed. Oh! He's after me! He'll never catch me in this souped-up car of the future! Curses! I can't shake him! Well, no use in holding back now! Let's see what this baby can do! And... Here it comes! Yes? Here what comes? I, uh... I, I don't know. Something really unexpected is supposed to happen right about now, but I'm not sure what. Oh, come to think of it... How can I be expecting something unexpected? Uh, oh, what's going on? Quick, Marty. We've got to find a way to push the story along before she snaps out of her reverie. Transported! Where? Back! Back! To the past! What do you see? Hill Valley! But it's all different! It's so small and primitive! Heavens! Can it be? It is! Is what? Grandfather! Big as life! Marshal James Strickland came to Hill Valley in 1869, shot by- I know, Doc. We met him in 1885. Remember? No! I must be mistaken. Grandfather didn't look like that. That man is an imposter! I'm not even sure it is a man! This is all very confusing. Where am I? Why am I thinking about the past? Get off my lawn, you kids! Better find a way to bring back Marshal Strickland quick. We've got to bring this story to a climax. Oh my God. Right. She and she uh put her hat here. This hat doesn't frame her face very well. Uh, bleaching out. Nice fit. Looks like a Strickland to me. Like my little brother, perhaps, but not like my grandfather. Grandfather was much more uh, shaggy. What else is it? A mop. Where do I find a mop from around here? Did they even. Oh, there, there's one. It just happens to be everything around. I'm guessing this mop doesn't get much use. Great clipping. Father, how well you look! How well everything looks! How does everything look? Tell me. It's a bit rustic, to be sure, 
But all the buildings are so sturdy and well kept, and the young people of Hill Valley, they're so virtuous and upright. So unlike the degenerate specimens from the 20th century, and I know the reason why. Why? They haven't yet fallen prey to the vices of booze and debauchery. They are still in a state of innocence. I think I could learn to like living here. <gasps> but who's this? Who? This big lout swaggering up the street, lips curled in an insolent sneer. He's a newcomer to Hill Valley. Uh, Beauregard. Beauregard... Tannen. Yeah. Tannen. Yes! Good guess. Look at him. Acting like a big shot. Throwing his money around. Stolen money, no doubt. Why can't they see through him? The two-bit phony! And now his plan becomes clear. He's bought a plot of land in town. He's going to put up a... A... A what? I don't know. It's something I don't like. Something... Evil. This is the key to our mystery. We've got to get her memory back in the groove. Must be a species. I said, I said a species. It's kind of right. Talk about a watering hole. A saloon in Hill Valley. Oh, he can't do that. Grandpa, you can't let him do it! You can't let that snake ruin paradise! Well, if they're all too blind to stop him, I'll just have to take the law into my own hands. I'll make sure this sinful establishment never opens its doors. I'll... I don't know what I'll do, but I'll do something. Something very... conclusive. I wonder what's cooking. Young man, you've just given me an idea. First, we'll need some kerosene. Apply it liberally to the building site. No sense in being parsimonious. And now, watch. Isn't it beautiful? The devil's handiwork consumed by the fires of righteousness. <laughs> Burn, you sucker! She was never this passionate when we were dating. Uh, oh. What is it, Edna? Is it the fire? Turn away! Don't look! It's not staying in the saloon, is it? It's spreading to the other buildings in Hill Valley. My intentions were pure. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. But it did happen like this. And you've been repressing it all these years because you can't stand to admit that you're... A hooligan! I'm a hooligan! <laughs> Did I lay it on too thick? Here's the story. Black and white and red all over. Huh. Hill Valley destroyed my fire. Started approximately 2 a.m. July 17th, 1876! Of course, I'm not the real criminal in this story, am I, Mr. Sagan? You set me up for a fall, you and Schmernoff. You made me steal your infernal car. You made me burn down Hill Valley. And now, by the powers invested in me by the town of Hill Valley, I hereby sentence you two criminals hey. to... You! How much have you heard? 
Enough for a month's worth of headlines in a Hayesville Herald. Two months worth if you shoot those fellas. I could shoot you too, you know. But you won't, because that would be against the law. And you never break the law, right? This is your cue to skedaddle. Right. Much obliged. Pretty cool. Time travel. It's unbearable. There's Beauregard Tannen's half finished saloon. Sometime during the next hour, Edna's going to light it on fire and accidentally burn down Hill Valley. I wonder where her DeLorean is. We'll find it later. Right now, we've got to stop that fire. I'll go around back, you go through the front. Got it. Now, let me check the time in the episode. And if it's over time, then, uh, well, I'll end it here.